you know, the hawks in Washington want to jack up the military budget and use Ukraine as an excuse. But if you look at the budget, and Biden's going to propose, according to press accounts, a military budget of over $800 billion on Monday, uh, that's more than was spent at the height of the Korean or Vietnam wars. It's $100 billion more than what was spent at the height of the Cold War under Ronald Reagan. So this notion that to provide some weapons to Ukraine, to send a few thousand additional troops to Europe, uh, requires, uh, you know, increasing this enormous budget is only going to benefit uh, weapons contractors and members of Congress who receive campaign contributions from them, who use the arguments uh, to get themselves elected. So, um, you know, and then overarching all this is this discussion of a new Cold War. And I think people don't think about this. A lot of people think it's like the United States spent you know, the Soviet Union into the grave and uh, brought democracy to Eastern Europe and so forth. But they don't look at what happened all over the world in the name of fighting communism. They don't look at the Vietnam War. They don't look at the coups in Guatemala, Iran, Chile. They don't look at arming of the so-called freedom fighters by Ronald Reagan, including the Afghan Mujahideen, uh, some of whom went on to help form al-Qaeda, uh, including the Contras in Nicaragua, who committed unspeakable crimes including the overthrow of the Allende elected government in Chile when Henry Kissinger said, you can't let a country go communist because of the irresponsibility of its own people, acknowledging that they were overthrowing a democratic government. So I think there's a danger that not only will this be a war in Ukraine, but the U.S. will use it as an excuse for a more aggressive policy around the world, arguing that it's to counter Russia or China or Iran or whoever the enemy of the moment is.